Hello and welcome. This is your friendly neighborhood tech specialist Becca here to teach you how to use the Elgato video capture software to digitize your media. What I'll be going over today is the basic software setup, recording, trimming, and then saving your video. To get your software, first you're going to want to go into the good old internet and go to elgato.com forward slash n. From there, you're going to go over to this Capture tab right here. And then over here to the far right, where it has the Video Capture icon. And go ahead and click there. From there, you're going to scroll until you see Download and Support. And then you'll be able to download the appropriate software for your operating system. Today I'll be using Windows, but there are instructions here for Mac. Now, for Windows, I would recommend also downloading the driver for Elgato Video Capture. It just helps your device and the Elgato communicate seamlessly. During the installation process on Windows, you may encounter a message that says this application requires a .NET Framework 3.5. Please install the .NET Framework, then run the installer again. All you have to do is click OK for that. And then you can Google or visit Microsoft's website in their download center and look for the Microsoft .NET Framework 3.5. Choose your language, download and install, and then try running the Elgato installer one more time. Once that's all done though, when you open up Elgato, you should get this beautiful little program right here. And I'll show you how to get started with that. So the very first thing on Elgato Video Capture, it's going to ask you what you want to title your movie. So if you're digitizing multiple tapes, you can title them appropriately. And then it will ask you how long you want the movie to be. And it'll give you a variety of lengths to choose from. I would recommend using the highest number of minutes possible. It does tell you how much hard drive space that's going to take up. You can also go down here to Preferences. If you want to save all of your items to a specific place. So if you've got your title, you've picked your time. Now we need to go to Connect Video and that will be by clicking Continue. From there, you're going to select the input that you chose with your device. So if you're using a VCR, it will likely be the RCA cables. If you are using a camcorder, you are probably going to be using this S video. And since I am using a VCR, I'm going to keep it right here with RCA. The aspect ratio is essentially just the frame for your video. Now, one thing I recommend doing is playing the video um, just a couple of seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it says no signal, which probably means I need to turn on the VCR. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in my tape. So this blue screen is perfect. You want that. And then I'm going to go ahead and press play just to see if I get any video feed. Just by the way this looks, it should be okay. So you can see that your video comes through really clearly, or at least to the best of its, its ability to. And if you see this nice clear picture, and let me show you what 16.9 is like, that really stretches it out. And there's the 4.3. So if you see the video, great. While it's playing, I recommend hitting continue. And then as long as you see the green down in these bottom bars, it means that the audio cables are working. That's really awesome. So from there, you can go ahead. I like to rewind to the beginning of my tape. And while it's doing that, I'll press continue. And this is where you get to record your video. So. You can choose to have the tape automatically stop recording after 180 minutes. The only reason that's there is for your hard drive space. You can also choose to mute the sound for your video for the entire recording. 
All right, and then to begin, all you do is press this big red button to start recording. So you can press play, sit back, relax, and enjoy your video. So for our purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording, but you'll essentially, when it's all done, either it will automatically stop or you simply just have to press this red button. The program will then start to think. And here is where we get to trim our videos. So both the markers on the right and the left will help you trim where you want your video to begin. So say I don't want any blue in there, I can go until it's just my tape. And this is this marker up here is just to drag where you want to see your image here. So say I am perfectly fine with having that much trimmed off the end and that much trimmed off the beginning. Essentially, you're done. So all you'd need to do is continue. Let Elgato think it may take a longer time to process depending on how long your video is. And that's it. Your item will be saved in the folder that you've designated. And from there, you can either play the video in Media Player, add it into iTunes or Windows Media Player. You can edit with Live Movie Maker or upload to YouTube. Or if you have another tape to convert, go ahead and press this again button and it takes you right back to the beginning. So that's it for Elgato Video Capture. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know at the library. And thank you so much for joining.